Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. And guys, you know what time it is. It's time to talk about lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbians. Lesbians. Lesbian. Lesbians. Lesbians. Lesbian. And yes, you guys know that on TikTok there's a bunch of chicks that think that, oh, men are scum, so I'm gonna date women because it's so much easier until they find out that it's not. So guys, we're going to get into this, but before we do, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps keep this channel going, guys. I go live Wednesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come and join, guys. And I have more videos just like this one. They're linked in the description. Check out the playlist, guys. Let's get into this. Hold on, guys. For hashtags or hashtag dating advice, hashtag coming out, hashtag women love women, hashtag rainbow flag, like, like literally, hashtag need to know. Hashtag lesbian date, dating. <laughs> All right. It can be complicated to date women and here's why. If you've never dated women before, you should know these things. And if you have, I know you can relate. First off, there is an unspoken rule of razors. If your partner wants to admit it or not, they have probably used your razor and you've probably used theirs. There will be hair everywhere. Yours, hers. Your animals, if you get animals. You know they all have have cats, right, guys? <laughs> Just help each other clean. Do not assume that the masculine woman that you started dating wants to be more dominant, especially if you're used to only dating men. That being said, when the bill comes for dinner, who's paying? Or are you splitting? You need to talk about these things. Boom, right there, guys. Right there. I I let this go for a little bit just for right here guys isn't it funny how women actually stop and talk about who wants to pay when it's another woman they say oh you gotta stop and talk about things but when they're actually dating men it's like, oh no 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 I would never pay you have to pay <laughs> and then they start dating chicks and like wait a minute wait wait a minute I might have have to pay Wait a minute, this sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Whoever has the most pockets and or whoever is carrying the purse is going to hold both of your stuff. You're just going to have to come to terms with that. And whoever has a nicer car, suck it up, buttercup. You are most likely going to be driving. That's just how it is. There's always one person with a nicer car. You will probably end up talking about your feelings a lot more than you ever have before. There you go. Because men just don't open up the same way. And that's okay. And it's okay not to be okay and to express any hurt or trauma that you feel or have had in the past. Look at this. Tattoos. I'm not surprised she doesn't have the bull ring in her nose, right? Talking about hurt and trauma. Guys, this is the typical modern woman. It's great because your closet will grow, but then sometimes when you go to wear something, you'll be like, where the heck did it go? And it's because they wore it. And last but not least, make sure you are stocked up on toiletries. Tampons, pads, diva cups, or whatever you guys use, you need double. So make sure you stock up so you don't run out. It can be common. Guys, 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 guys. I'm glad I'm a guy. <laughs> Cloud I recently posted a video with a dating tip for the baby gays and the late in life lesbians about how you should not play hard to get when you are trying to date women. And I want to talk a little bit more about this. And I know I don't have the most experience dating because my girlfriend was the third person I went on a date with and I mean, we're still together, so I don't have a ton of dating experience, but I have talked with other people who have been out for a decade and they say that this is very, very common that the baby gays do this, that we all try to play hard to get. We try to act like we're not that interested because that's what we were taught to do with men. And um, yeah, women don't like that. And they think men do. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. I haven't even watched this one yet. I just kind of kind of clipped it and <laughs> They were taught that that's what they have to do with men, right? Who taught them that, right, guys? 
come on. And now they're complaining because they're dating girls and girls play hard to get and they can't figure it out. Welcome to our world, ladies, guys, for hashtags. Hashtag lesbians of TikTok. Hashtag LDHD TV. Hashtag gay girls. Hashtag women love women. Hashtag women who love women who love women who love women. What? Hashtag TikToks les lesbians. Hashtag baby gay. Hashtag baby gay TikTok. Guys, I don't know what baby gay means. I just don't. But guys, in the comments here, it says, <laughs> this is a woman saying this. Playing hard to get tells me that another woman is either not interested, emotionally unavailable, or narcissistic. Either way, ain't nobody got time for that. This is a woman saying this about women. But if we were to say this, guys, they would call us misogynists. <laughs> oh, man, guys. If irony if, if irony was was anything like sub, anything of sub, substance, if irony was a beverage, man, it would be this chick right here. Man. Before I started dating my girlfriend, I did go out with two other girls. Um, I went on two dates with each of them, and then it never went anywhere. She's from Canada E. And also, too, guys, men, women fear rejection even more than men. So now you have two women both playing hard to get with each other because they want the other one to make the first move. And I realize now that it was partially my own fault because... You think? I never once texted them first. Um, I don't even think I texted them at all in between our dates. They had to make the date. They had to ask me out. They had to plan it all. And I, looking back on it, realized that I did not seem like I was that interested, even though I was. Yeah. And I did actually kind of do the same thing to my girlfriend. We have laughed and joked about this many times. She loves to tell me about how I did not make it easy for her. On our second uh -huh. date, she was so sweet to me. I made a whole video about it. It actually went viral. It was one of my very first TikToks. Um, but she was so sweet to me, and I sat like I was not interested in her for most of the evening. We like went to see a movie, and she was trying so hard to hold my hand. So she treated her girlfriend like a guy, basically. That's basically it. And I was like, curled up in a little ball because I was so awkward and I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I feel like I could do a whole video on how I'm just so lucky that <laughs> it worked out because I was not easy to date. Um, I got very lucky. And the moral of the story is don't play hard to get. Just don't do it. Just wear your emotions on your sleeves. Be honest with people. Be upfront. If you like someone, let them know that. Isn't this what us guys have, have been asking these broads to do for... for decades and hundreds of years and just all through time guys isn't it funny how they're finally coming to terms with this after they start dating women funny how that works right guys so we all know that like it's hard to like try and date men we all know why but we don't talk about why it's hard to date women i'm pansexual and of course you are <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't, I'm not even clear what the hell pansexual is, but I'm sure this person is a firm representation of what that is. Guys, the, who, hashtags here. Hashtag dating. Hashtag pansexual. Hashtag non-binary. Hashtag transformer. Hashtag mask femme. Hashtag a building lesbians mansions. Hashtag a cab. Hashtag Antifa, hashtag classism. Ugh, guys. Guys, put in the comments how many red flags you you just heard there. Okay? And um, dating apps are always a fun fucking time for me. And in my city, there are so many girls that seem really cool on the surface. Like, they have, like, an artsy aesthetic. They care about the environment. Whatever. They look cool. But then you get to actually talking to them. And it turns out they're fucking transphobic as fuck. They have, like, a seriously toxic view about, like, fat and fitness and diet culture. <laughs> ah, there it is, dude. There it is. So I talk to girls that are, like, pretty and stuff, you know? And then they, they reject me because I don't 
fit a, a, a feminine beauty standard. And I'm also overweight. <laughs> And I might, and I look like the dude from The Cure. <laughs> These, this person's basically mad at the fact that the that the women that they they want they them wants to date doesn't want to be with this person. So instead of saying, "Look, maybe it's because I need to get myself better," it's there's some type of istophobe. Come on, man. Um, they have like these really like secret sneaky white supremacist views about the city being diverse and then you find out they also come from generational wealth and they have a lot of really classist views but they have like a crunchy aesthetic i ugh. so you're telling me that going to a uh, artsy fartsy place where there's a bunch of artsy fartsy people that are usually upper class rich chicks <laughs> that could be into all this Pan sapio stuff, and you're mad because they might be, you know, act like how rich people people do. Uh huh. Guys, this is foolishness, right? And this is once again a fear of rejection. It's 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 they these people want social socialism, right? This person, if I guarantee that if they were able to hook up with all the hot chicks and all those artsy chicks or whatever, they wouldn't talk about the ist and the phobes and all this other stuff. So, all right, you guys, let me know how hilarious that this is. That, uh, that, that these, these women try and date chicks and then they get all, all angry because they find out that it's hard. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. Join the lives on Wednesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.